smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. And welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is going to be another part on working on the 335i. So today um, is the same day I worked on the other video. I told you guys I'm going to make two videos, so I got you pump them out for you guys. Um, this rear door, I don't know if you guys know, has a bullet, three bullets, about three bullets through the entire door, as you guys can see there, and the, the window got shot out. So this door, no matter what, doesn't want to open. So my goal today, and my job as a 335i repairing, not you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring this car back to life. Um, so my job is to get this door to work. I don't know 100% yet if I'm gonna keep this door. I might end up keeping it, filling in the holes, replacing the door card, and replacing the window. It's a lot of work, but at the same time, I think it's worth it keeping it everything OEM. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside the car, see if I can pull out the door card, see, um, just see, see if it's possible to get this door to open. Maybe it's just the actual way that got shot, or maybe it's the actual, um, you know, the hook that got shot, and if it's the hook, it might be a whole nother ballpark. So we'll have to see um, if we can even get this door open. Let's just if I get this door open, I'll be the happiest damn man alive. Happiest 335 owner out there. All right, bringing you guys inside the car now. It's gonna be kinda hard. Let me go ahead, uh, finesse myself in here, drop my tools. Grab onto that because there's glass all over here. Sorry, I can see the camera's off focus. My bad, guys. One second. I don't want, I want to die. Okay. All right, boys. So as you guys can see, this door is screwed. Um, I'm going to try and remove the door card in order to do that. I'm probably going to set up a fan because I'm dying. I know that has nothing to do with it, but I am dying. Sitting inside a car is a pain. Guys, look, it looks gutted. I feel like just leaving it like you know, like race car mode. Just have this one seat in here and uh, just, just go full throttle. You know, weight reduction, boys. So anyways, I'm not probably going to do that. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments. My goal is to go ahead and take off this trim, take off all this stuff, take off this entire door panel, pull it out, disconnect everything. Probably going to move up the seat. Probably going to end up adding a fan. But I'll get to you guys in a second when I get all that done. All right, guys, as you guys can see, the fan is set up right there for me. I'll plug that in for a second for me, but I don't want the fan noise bothering y'all. And then I, I gave a little bit more clearance with the seat so I can actually get to the door panel and start ripping it off. I'm going to try to set you guys up. If I can't, I'll get back to you guys when I get that door card out. But uh, the, the door card is not what I'm worried about. It's not what I'm worried about at all. It's actually how bad the bullet. I'm hoping it didn't hit the, the hook. If it hit the actuator, I'm able to remove the actuator probably and uh, open the door. But if it hit the, the, the hook, it's a whole nother ballpark. Whole nother ballpark. So we're gonna have to see. Time to connect the fan and put you guys on cinematic mode. Uh, I think you guys look good up there. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing this thing. All right, okay, okay. Guys, I don't think you guys see how excited I am. I just love working on this car. There's just so much things to do. It's not like a normal car. You're actually doing something. You're actually doing something, you know what I mean? All right, guys, this is officially garbage. I'm gonna have to move this out of the way. This is a Chucky Beat production. Guys, this is not looking good. So, I took a picture. If you guys can see that, I'm not sure. I'll probably put a, let me try to zoom in the camera. So, as you guys can see, the bullet went through there and straight through the actuator. So, that doesn't look so good, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get that actuator out so I can open up the door. Uh, we'll see where we can go from here. Um, is that the fan? Oh, fan's still on? God damn it. All right, guys, so this is day 326. Um, we we'll start trying to get this door off. I have came down to the conclusion that the bullet did too much damage to this door that I'm gonna have to uh, go Arab style on it. So what I mean Arab style, I mean I'm gonna go get a chainsaw and just cut the door in half and rip it out of the car. So if you guys are down to see that, um, give me a few minutes, I'm gonna have to go weld my uh, or solder my uh, machine together because I actually cut it the wire because I'm a dumbass and then I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this entire area where the actuator is rip the actuator out and then rip the hook off or not rip the hook I maybe cut off the hook because I'm pretty sure there's a bolt let me check on this this side yeah there's two bolts holding I don't know if you guys can see that so I'm gonna cut this off 
Um, I'm just gonna cut it all off, 100%. Again, Arab style. And then we're just gonna rip the door out, take it to a junkyard, buy a whole new door. Cause anyways, this is shattered glass, wires are all messed up. It ain't even worth repairing, it's just like $100. So um, yeah, so that's the plan. I'm gonna go uh, see if I can wire my, uh, my saw together. I want Arab on the saw itself. So give me a few seconds here. And if it looks like I'm sweaty, it's because I am sweaty. And if you guys uh, try working in a car, it's not fun. Watch, I love this car. But at the same time, obviously it's not fun working in a hot environment. Um, but you know, it's fine. I am, I am not complaining. Uh, today was a good day because you guys saw the last video. Um, I did. I was able to get the taillights to work. So that was a big, big, big surprise to me. Um, and it was really satisfying. It's satisfying when you do something, you see results. It's how YouTube is. When I upload a video and I, got, I see you guys' feedback, it's like, it's one of those kind of things. So you guys can understand when you're working on cars, it's kind of the same feedback I get uh, when, I, when I upload videos. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, get my machine together, come back in this car probably in an hour, because I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to get that machine together, because um, I'm, I'm very smart in life. Uh, but yeah, I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, so this is what I usually use uh, to go Arab style on pretty much the tie rods, um, bumpers, 350Zs, and now a door. So this little machine from Harbor Freight that cost me 20 bucks does a lot of work. But, um, I don't know, I set it to retirement a couple months back. As you guys can see, I'm very smart. Uh, this actually, the wire got in the way and I cut it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and try to solder this together. Oh no, I might just take this apart. I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and actually permanently fix it because I'm gonna need this machine. So I'll get back to you guys maybe in like an hour. All right guys, so we are out here. I went ahead and wired them back together. I'm going to put a little bit of solder on both of them, tape it up, tape the whole thing up. And uh, we should be able to use this machine to cut the door off. So uh, we'll go from there. Honestly, if you guys have anything with cut up wires, just send it to me. I'll fix it for you. I feel like I feel like an electrician right now, just fixing up. Like you know, it's pretty easy. I mean, you look at it and you're like, oh man, the wire got cut in half. It's garbage. But then you know, I never really tackled the project. So I looked at the 335. I was like, I have no choice. I gotta I gotta wire this stuff together. So then I went ahead and wired it, and now I'm wiring this stuff, and I'm just like, man, this shit's all working now. So. I'm feeling pretty cool right now. All right, anyways, I'm gonna get this in the car and try cutting off the door. Um, we'll see how that works. All right, guys, so I bent out the metal far enough. Sorry about the fan, but I bent out the metal far enough to get to this. I think I have to cut a little bit higher so I could rip this thing out and cut out whatever that's holding the door shut. Um, I'll get back to you guys once I do that, but I'm gonna cut some more metal off. All right, guys, that's currently how far I am. I'm pulling out some more metal. I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. It's kind of getting a little bit laid out. I want to get something to eat. It's actually not that doesn't look laid out, but it's like 10 right now. Um, so I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm super tired. I'm about to. I'm about to start work on this tomorrow. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Anyways, guys, so I just got. Uh, so this is the next day. I know I always, I always end my vlogs abruptly. I'm hoping I put an outro to that vlog from yesterday. Yeah. So currently, my car is running now. I'm gonna take it out for a spin. Pick up my brother from his college. Um, I did have to drop him off because he doesn't have a car right now to the shop. So I'm gonna be taking my BMW down there to go pick him up. See if everything is good. Uh, fill it up with some gas. In the meantime, um, this door still doesn't open, but I figured out the reason why now. I mean, I knew that was a reason, but I can confirm it now. I'll show you guys when I get back. But I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're just gonna get some coffee, um, pick up my brother. Guys, just how much I love this steering wheel. My God. That was a little bit of a delay, but I'm not getting any lights. Car sounds good. Ah, I think it's fine. I think everything is good. Um, but yeah, this car needs some gas, as you can tell. Um, we're gonna go ahead and fill it up, and we're gonna pick up my brother right now. See you guys, and uh, see you guys probably at the coffee shop. Uh, I'll probably pick up my brother and then go get some coffee. We'll see. Alright, guys, so we are back home right now. I'm probably gonna need a shave. The thing is, I'm trying to let it all grow out so I can get something nice going. But, anyways, guys, so today, my goal is to get the stupid door to open. I'm probably gonna try to do a fancy thumbnail right now while the door doesn't open. And then, even so, if I rip off the door handle, I really don't care. But uh, I'm gonna try to do some fancy thumbnails real quick. And then, uh, we'll try to get this door open because that would be amazing. And at least the car can see me somewhat operatable. And I'll be able to start working on the wires that are right here because. Uh, this door is, is blocking me from able to like be comfortably working on those wires And I can always do the door later, but I was like, you know what while I'm working on the wires Just make everything just so easy. Why not? All right guys, so time to show you my goal for today I don't know if you guys can see that I'll get inside the car and show you guys uh, pretty much the door handle Literally being stuck because of the the bullet going through the actuator. All right guys I don't know if you guys can see but I go ahead and put the light in here You can see the hook like right there that little metal piece 
Um, the black thing is still inside the hook. You guys can see it's in there. So if I show you guys the other door real quick, um, if you look over here, you see the hooks right here. Um, but that door, the actuator, is like stuck on it. But yeah, pretty much the hook is like stuck in the locking position like that. So my goal is to try to break that hook off, this take it off, and then open up the door. Production. It's probably gonna be a permanent thing. But hey, I'm pretty sure I've already ruined this door. I did a little bit of cutting last night. I got all this stuff out of the way so I can actually start bashing at it and try to break that piece off. Once I do that, I can remove the door without harming any of the frame of the actual um, door seals, which is one of my main things. Some people said shove like a crowbar or something like that on the sides. I don't want to ruin the, the seals of the door. I'd rather do it from the inside of the door and just ruin the door itself. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm just going to keep bashing at it and see if I can get this thing to break. Alright guys, so finally I got this little sheet of metal off, it wasn't too hard. You guys can see the actuator right there, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to angle it and try to see if I can cut as much of this black stuff off. Finally guys, yeah, I saw it here first. Finally caught that hole in the door. Got Broke the actuator, the arm that's holding the latch. Um, I don't think the latch is affected. The latch is actually perfect, so I didn't even affect the latch whatsoever, so I lied, maybe a tad bit. But I mean, regardless, it should be able to work perfectly fine. So I'm really psyched about that. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, set you guys down, remove the bolts to the door, remove the wiring to the door, and then just take off the whole door. There's nothing I could use from this. I mean, if I wanna be cheap and keep that rear window, but let's be honest, I'll probably get, I'll find that with the whole door. So I, I'm not even worried about this entire door. I just wanna take it all off, take it to a junkyard, uh, sew it off, just think it's scrap it, metal, whatever they wanna do with it. Not my problem anymore. But at least now, I'll be able to get in there and do the wiring. I don't know if I'm gonna do the wiring today, but my main intention is to just get this damn door off, put a carpet in the 330i, uh, put the door in the trunk, because it does fold down, which I'm definitely taking those seats and putting them over here, because I love the fold down seats, because it it's practical. And then, um, yeah, it should be, let's, let's, let's just hope everything goes according to plan, because working on cars, normally things don't go according to plan, but so far, guys, I'm really happy tail lights are working, the door finally opened, not closing that damn door, I'm gonna take that damn thing off, because I swear to God, if it closes on me, I don't think I'll be able to open it up as easy as that, um, because I, I literally stripped the metal piece just so yank at the door a little bit, because I saw, like, the perfect opportunity, and it worked, but the latch is still in there. So I'm gonna sit you guys down, let's go ahead and remove the bolts. But cleaning is my number one priority, let's go ahead and get all this stuff out of the way. This is a Chucky Beat production. All right, guys, so you guys saw me and my brother. We just took off the door, really happy about that. Um, so everything's cleared up. Next job is gonna be on the next video because it's gonna be a lot of wiring and I wanna show you guys the codes and everything. I don't know if I'm gonna do it tonight or me and my brother are just gonna chill for the rest of the day because, you know, whenever we complete something, we feel good. You wanna end the day on a good note. You know how it is. You don't wanna keep doing stuff and you get tired, you get rusty, and then you break something and then you hate your whole life. So you guys know how it is when you're working on cars. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. If we can get this video to 300 likes, I'll get a video out the next day. I won't even wait two days or three days. I'll get it out the next day for you guys. So make sure to smash the like button, 300 likes video tomorrow. And guys, like I always say, remember to stay humble, work hard, stay humble. Peace out, guys.